I'm here with Chris Kroll. How are you? And we're looking at Motion Math's latest release called Hungry Guppy. This is the second feeding, fish feeding uh, app, math app from Motion Math. Yes, they do like their fish. <laughs> yes, they do. And we like them too because uh, the way they dynamically pull you into the uh, into this kind of thing. Um, tell us about us, Chris. Okay, it's a very simple, straightforward app. Uh, working with young children to add up sums. They're connecting uh, numbers and dots to uh, equal the dots that are on the fish's body. Um, so a couple things in the beginning is you do have your uh, how-to, uh, how to play game. Uh, we have a parent guide that goes in here to explain a little bit more for parents, how for three to seven year olds, how to use this app and some of the concepts behind it. Uh, they also have the options where you can turn on or off the music, uh, turn on or off number hints. Um, and then also just a little bit about motion math themselves. Yeah, but I think I think they thought this out a little bit better than the first one, didn't they? They did. They did. They're getting. They're really progressing well along, kind of like this the is, kids when they're playing the game. Yep. And this is a two ninety nine app. So it's and there's no in app sales. It's what you see is what you get. Yes, that's right. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to either find the number that matches the fish's body, um, so or you have to add them on together. The fish, and yes. that's four, on shown both in terms of a numeral and a set. Yes. Uh, and then you combine them, and the fish will eat them. Uh, if you, what if you don't get it right? Well, if you don't get it right, the fish will hold off and hold off. If you go to, if you go over, say here I did three plus three six, it'll just shrink down, and the fish sometimes shrinks down. Uh, it'll make a little sound. It doesn't hurt you though. Um, it doesn't kick you out of the game at all. It progresses along with the child. Um, You've never been bitten by a fish. I have. Well, not one on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> now we notice that. Um, every so on, once in a while you get that little glowing uh, pearl-like thing which the fish eats and then it lets you go in and you can decorate your fish, right? Uh, once you get to a certain point, yes. Um, but here you have to, you get to a, a little bit farther level. Um, you know, after each one it gives you a little bit of a break to catch your breath, but then once you, I think the third or fourth one in, it does let you switch the colors of your fish, kind of play around with it. One drawback I might say is it's a little bit boring. I mean, I'm not saying this is the whole idea is great, but in terms of like, there's not a whole lot of variety other than change your fish. Yeah. So the backgrounds change, probably the background music changes as well, but um, this is pretty straightforward. It'd be great for a classroom. It would be. A uh, classroom, the teacher would be able to figure out um, using both numbers and symbols with the dots, uh, which children would get the concept of adding them together. Uh, as I said, there are some where you can do multiple numbers. Uh, multiple dots that you're bringing together to add up to the sum that's on the fish. So Chris, you're starting kindergarten, your kindergarten class, your 18th year. Yes. Um, <laughs> is this going to be on your iPad? This definitely will be. This will be on the iPad. Uh, it'll give me a quick assessment at the beginning of the year, uh, very informal, um, but give me a good idea of, of where the kids are at um, as they're coming in. That's Motion Math. Hungry Guppy, 299 for Motion Math. Yeah. Another solid app. Great addition to uh, any kind of math curriculum, early, early math curriculum. Absolutely. I'm Warren Buckleitner. I'm Chris Kroll. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.